Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm Natasha Martinez. Up next, New York native Cree Chiquino is shaking things up as one of the stars of Game Shakers, a live action sitcom about two 12 year old girls who start a multi million dollar gaming company. Cree plays the spunky and smart Babe Carano on the Nickelodeon series, but Cree is more than just a rising actress. She has also been dancing since the age of four, and she especially loves the street styles and hip hop, something she tries to add to her role on Game Shakers. Now coming up, Cree gives us an all access pass to her journey as a teen star right here on American Latino TV. I'm Cree Chiquino, and I work on a Nickelodeon show called Game Shakers. Why are you stretching? Oh, don't worry about me. You just help Mason learn stuff. Uh, well, Game Shakers is a show about two girls, me and another girl, who start a gaming company. We team up with a few classmates and a world superstar named Double G. He's played by Kel Mitchell, who's been on Keenan and Kel and all that. And we team up together and make games and go on adventures, and it's all about that. And the games that we make in the show are actually available in real life for download, so uh, the viewers sort of get to get a first-hand look into what the show is all about. Yeah, I am into gaming. Um, sure, I've always enjoyed it. Uh, we do mobile games, which I've always loved ever since I've had phones or devices to use it on. So I play all of the games. They're all really fun. Now that's some fun for the whole family right there. I grew up a dancer, so I've been dancing for 11 years. I started in competition dancing, and there was multiple studios, so um, one of them was a little farther away from where we lived for my sister to go dance, take a class. So while I had that time, we said, hey, why not try that acting class down the street? So I went in, uh, we did a few months, then had a showcase in front of people from the industry. The next day, six people called, and from getting my manager to booking the pilot was nine months. So it was it all just sort of happened as an accident. So I've been dancing my whole life, 11 years, and on the show they found out I could dance and, and they saw some videos of me that I had up on my social media and they said, oh my god, you know, we love this, can we put this in the show? I said, of course. And uh, in like two or so episodes we get to dance um, and then I brought in a choreographer who I like working with and, and, and we, just, we just had fun and we got to do you know, basically whatever we wanted and then in another episode uh, we, we all get to dance. Uh, so that'll be coming up. So it was it was very fun to sort of mix my past life to my new passion, you know, sort of merge them together. It was a little weird, but it was very fun. Oh, it's a race. Next. Okay, ready? Three, two, two one. one. Go. <laughs> Which one is you? Oh, 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 no, no. Oh, is I got to hit the ball. Is it the blue Boom. one that Boom. we're still seeing? Oh, He's the ball. Boy. He's oh. in the ball. Oh. So, Ooh. let's go. What is oh. 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 really good? Have to stay away from. Okay, you gotta stay away from these bad boys right there. You oh, only no, have to hit the uh, ballerinas. And you gotta hit the ballerinas, yeah, and you gotta stay away. Um, my advice to kids who want to get into acting would be work hard, you know, study. This, it won't just come to you. You gotta work at it, study your craft, and, um, and be able to take a few no's. You know, you're not all of the feedback you get is gonna be positive, so you gotta be ready to handle some of the negative and not let that waver your uh, work ethic. You gotta keep with it. And, um, and, and if, you know, if you work really hard, you have the passion, you, could, you, can, you can make it there.